And this morning's Health Watch, encouraging news on Parkinson's disease. A new study finds that a common painkiller, probably in your medicine cabinet right now, may actually reduce the risk of developing Parkinson's. Here with the news is our doctor, Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So, I guess this is the magic pill. Well, it appears that way. This is ibuprofen, or Advil or Motrin, and what this study found is that people who took this more than three times a week reduced their risk of Parkinson's disease by about 40%. So it sounds good, but but it is early preliminary findings. Yeah, it could be significant, That's 40%. Right. How did they conduct this study? They looked at over 130,000 people, followed them for six years, and it was really just an associative finding. So it means they didn't explain the cause and effect or the mechanism here, but they just found that those who happened to take ibuprofen at that frequency really had a lower risk. So again, potentially interesting. Do you think that people should now start taking ibuprofen as insurance? I'm sure a lot of people will be inclined to do that like they do with aspirin for heart That's disease. That's right, and we always have to remember with any medication there are side effects. This drug is no different. It can increase your bleeding risk, it can affect kidney function, your stomach issues. So do not go out purely for this reason and start taking it at this point. Much more study needs to be done to find out exactly why it works. They haven't explained that yet. Is there any theory as to why it might be? Well, we know that Parkinson's disease is a progressive central nervous system disease that affects the way we move and speech. Now, usually it affects cell signaling or communication within the brain. This thinking is that actually there's inflammation going on and that ibuprofen, because it reduces inflammation, may be a little protective. It needs a lot more study. But it's a good first step. Good first step. Dr. Ashton, thanks so you much, bet, Jen. For more about treating Parkinson's disease, go to our partner in health coverage, webmd.com, and search Parkinson's.